last kayak trip on the river and because it's a tidal river there is a salt salt and fresh water present and what happened when i was sitting on the back of the kayak because it was actually under the plug so well this is the motor firstly let me explain this is electric motor of the kayak and uh, there is this uh, plug this uh, plug and one of the pins actually snapped off because of the electrolysis uh, salty water reacted and uh, it completely burnt off one of the pins uh, so i'm going to upgrade it and i'm going to use uh, mc4 connectors from uh, from solar so these are pretty uh, watertight and it will be sealed plug and that will hopefully uh, actually protect it from uh, any any corrosion and water getting in and any further electrolysis causing this problem to happen again so great I think it will be great MC4 connectors for electric kayak torque and I'll guide you through again what I'll be what I'll be doing to it so I <coughs> just sna snapped off the, the original plug and uh, this is a little pin actually that uh, broke off simply it literally burnt off because there's quite a few amps going through and once salty water was there it started chewing and eating away the material here is the progress of the of the upgrade when you remove uh, this uh, connector from the body of the kayak um, I had extra screws actually here just to make it seal better. This is an important seal. If you plan on uh, carrying heavy loads or if you plan on riding uh, double instead of single or solo on the, in this car, this has to be properly sealed. So I had a silicon seal in there. Uh, and uh, so what I've done, I removed this plug and there was an extra wiring it looks like somebody has modified this or it was modified when it was built but there was basically too many joints the cable inside the body of the kayak is really long so you don't have to worry about the length um, so what i had here was yeah two joints one joint here and, and another joint here so i got rid of all these joints because they would you know they are unnecessary there to uh, improve efficiency and uh, for actually to avoid faults in these joints it's better to not have them there at all so i've cut off uh, this wire out and what i've done i measured the diameter of these wires they are four mil and uh, i took the four mil drill bit and i drilled out from the inside of this socket i drilled out the wires all the way through so i gained two holes four mil and then i fed these wires through nice and tight seal and then i have already attached here as you can see mc4 so simple solar connector which is really weatherproof uh, and that's one now you have to remember when you attach a red or plus connector on the electric motor so this is always plus on the motor but here on this side plus which is uh, uh oh and i think i've done it wrong here i did so oh yes i did i reversed it so i have a uh, red which is plus on the boat and the opposite piece needs to come here not there yes that's my bed so you have to remember this guys uh, plus from the motor an opposite piece is minus so that was supposed to be here because this this purple is plus red all right so i've had to i corrected the mistake now this is the plus this is the minus gray and um, these connectors can be actually removed once you attach them if you are not sure how just watch some uh, videos on how to com connect m for mary c for charlie 4 mc4 connectors uh, solar applications and 
uh, this is it guys when you actually have these uh, wires these exposed make sure they are clean so I scrubbed them with the knife because they were quite black so to have a good connection here and when you connect actually just one thing I'll mention here this is the plus connector with the hole bigger hole in there and for that one you need this uh, a hole bigger pin so this is a female and that's it's a male one in there okay so now we'll just put this together and now I'll be applying silicon seal here on the like a, to create a gasket I'll apply silicon seal here on the inside as well as I'll fill this hole with completely with the silicon seal because we don't want any water passing through around the wires and inside the body of the kayak Okay, so the modification on this electric kayak torque is completed and uh, so these are the wires, yeah, the plus and minus from the battery. So I've applied the silicon seal under that plug and also inside to completely seal the hole uh, to stop any water from coming in. So that's there. And I want to show you how, in case you wonder how this uh, second chair works on this kayak here. So this is a camping chair that we've had for a number of years and it doesn't get used much. It's a really low, very, or extremely low chair. And uh, as I've put it on here, I realized that these mounting points perfectly align, or the chair perfectly align with these points here for the bungee cord and as well as here so simply what I've done I used cable ties these are about four five mil wide and they go perfectly they fit through that hole and zip ties work great for this chair so four of them one in each corner and it was a perfect fit fit I weigh about 80 kilos so that's about 170 pounds and that that's the chair there on the kayak it is a bit high as I mentioned but it works and also I'll mention one thing it was only yesterday when I learned about this uh, kill switch here and uh, this is in this uh, application is bypassed for some reason because I don't have to use this I just had it with the kayak and I wasn't sure what it was until I watched a video on YouTube yesterday so somehow previous owner or uh, yes yeah, somebody bypassed it so it's not really needed and this basically is supposed to uh, kill the kayak when you fall off so it doesn't get away from you uh, so it immediately stops the power but as I say not in this case I have it always on so maybe I'll work it out to actually make this skill switch work again because it is a handy, handy feature. So that just pushes it on and as soon as you come off it's supposed to, when you have it attached to your life vest or, uh, or to your body somehow, this will pull and stop the motor immediately. The battery is, I had to actually measure the box, the cavity inside the kayak and this is the maximum size it can fit in it's a 12 volt AGM battery and it's 120 amp hour original one was 100 amp hour so as the battery technology improves we have uh, less or smaller batteries with more capacity and that is the case this battery only discharged to about 12.7 uh, 12.7 volts from 13 and a half in about uh, one and a half hours that we used it on the water and it was two of us so it was actually there was a big demand for power uh, so with a single person it would be much less and also because the uh, motor was submerged much deeper uh, comparing to as if as if I was only uh, myself all right guys so that's the modification and uh, enjoy kayaking with this electric uh, invention mm -hmm.